welcome to ILTV's Evening Update. I'm Aaron Porras here with the latest news from Israel. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Education Minister Naftali Bennett are blaming the fires raging across the Jewish state on nationalistically motivated arson. Referring to Israeli Arabs and Palestinians, Bennett, who heads the right-wing Israeli Home Party, said that the fires could only have been set, quote, by those who do not belong to this land, end quote. Prime Minister Netanyahu said that there were signs that some of the fires were deliberately set, and the police indicated today that four separate fires in Haifa were indeed caused by arson. Brush fires continue to blaze in many locations across the country, tens of thousands of people have already been evacuated from their homes, and a number of countries have sent Israel firefighting planes and equipment. Bolstered by high winds and dry conditions, the fires continue to spread faster than the firefighters can extinguish them, and the outlook for an early end to the fires is not looking optimistic. According to the weather forecasters, no rain is expected until the end of next week. In addition, fires are likely to spread in the coming days due to high winds of up to 100 km per hour. A reform synagogue was vandalized overnight in an apparent attack by Jewish extremists. The vandals left a knife and a threatening graffiti that included biblical passages sprayed on the outer walls of Kehilat Ra'anan in Ranana. There were also envelopes posted on the walls containing death threats against senior leaders of the reform movement. The police have opened an investigation. Who wouldn't want to be happy about a little bit more cash in their pockets? According to the latest figures released today, Israeli salaries actually rose by several percentage points this past year. The good news is that workers' median pay went up by 3.4% and about 2.7% more on average. According to the nation's Central Bureau of Statistics, Israeli employees are paid median monthly wages of around $1,776 at the average gross hourly rate of $14.37. The average worker is 39 and a half years old and has 14 years of education. The not so good news is that there's still a pretty wide gender gap. The average Israeli man makes about $3,178 a month, while women get just $2,067. That's a little bit more than $1,000 difference. And the disparity is even worse among the best educated, with men being paid nearly $5 more than their female colleagues for each hour of work. Meanwhile, the pay hikes practically failed to impact the country's Arab citizens at all, who make about half of what their Jewish counterparts take home. That's all for now. Stay tuned for ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Aaron Porras and see you tomorrow with our morning briefing from Israel at 8 a.m. Eastern Time.